today's segment, we're going to talk about the elements that we can change in a chip or a pitch shot to affect the way the ball flies in the air and the way the ball reacts on the ground without changing the mechanism of the strike that we've discussed previously. To review, the weight's going to be forward, the handle's going to be forward, and we're going to let the trunk and torso of our body be the engine of the swing, the, the energy creator. I'm going to keep these dynamics together, back and through, without creating any wrist hinge yet, or exaggerated pivot move of my lower body. Once again, my lower body is going to support what my upper body is doing. And as I need more energy and more distance, I will recruit my lower body to participate to create more energy. Here today, I'm going to show you what I call my three ball drill. And the three ball drill is a great way to demonstrate how we create variables statically at a dress to change the way the ball flies without having to change the way we deliver the club. First shot first is the one we've talked about so far, which is the chip and run shot, the one that comes out nice and low and rolls. I have the ball back off my right instep, my weight's forward, my handle's forward, and the club face is more or less square. This ball will come out low and it'll roll. Looks like this. Just like that, the ball came out low, carried about a quarter of the distance of the shot and then it rolled out the last three quarters of the, of the shot. The next ball is going to be my mid-flight ball, a shot that you're going to hit on a good majority of the shots you play where the distance of your shot is maybe 70% green or 60% green surface to deal with. Somewhere in the area where you just can't play it totally low to the ground and you got to have a little bit of elevation but you don't need to play a lob shot. So as you'll see my ball position started back here where the, where the rod is at. Now this ball position is moved forward slightly. It's only moved forward enough to where it's behind center, but not all the way up to the center yet. So from there, you'll see I'll even open the club face a little bit. And when you open the club face for folks at home, the club face will point more to the right. Then you take your grip on the club face, on the, on the grip rather. If you start square and then you open it by adjusting your hand position, now you've effectively changed your grip, and that's going to create a lot of problems in itself. So I've opened the club face up slightly. To use a baseball reference, the club face is pointing somewhere between first and second base, but my target is at second base. The ball position is now just behind center. This will create a higher lofted shot that's going to be about half the distance in the air and then half the distance on the ground. My weight's still forward, the handle is still forward, and I'm still going to let my arms and the club be energized by my trunk and by my torso. And it looks something like this. Ball traveled a little higher, rolled a little bit less. Which brings us to ball number three. So ball number three is gonna be our most lofted shot. And I'll get my stance just fractionally wider and I'm gonna move the ball now up into the middle of my stance. Generally, the middle of your stance should be the farthest forward position that you ever play a chip or a pitch shot. The men and women on TV that you see play these great shots into the air, leave it to them until you see your local PGA professional. That's my tip. So on this one, I've turned the club base now to point at first base. So it's very open. My stance has gotten a little wider. The ball is a little bit more forward towards the middle. The weight's still forward. The handle's still forward. I'm going to use the same energy source up here to create the swing and put this ball up into the air. You'll see with that shot, the ball was in the air about three quarters of the total distance and it stopped very abruptly because the face was open and the trajectory created an element of stopping power that can only be had with the open club face. We'll talk about more shots out of the rough next time.